just came from Hecate and Asterion, the Minotaur. And um, we found out a lot of things, so let's keep going. We want to catch a boat. You used me. You're welcome. You wanted a boat. That's why you did all this? Because you wanted some book? Not just some book, but a tome from the Forbidden Depths. <sighs> I doubt Hecate would be pleased. Oh, most assuredly not. Neither would Athena, which makes it all the more delicious. I trust you got what you needed. More grist for the mill of your innocence, as it were. I knows a heckin' lot about that. It's quite the coincidence. The place you sent me just happens to be the place Calliope was attacked. That is quite the coincidence. You must be very grateful. <laughs> uh, it's just hard to trust a coincidence that big. You have no reason to be suspicious. I know nothing of what happened to Calliope at the Reliquary. I suppose the question at the heart of this is, do you believe me? I actually do. I'm trying to, Pan, but you make this really hard. Ah, yes. Doubt. What a fascinating concept, and an excellent reason to hesitate. Alas, it is my burden to be forever condemned by my idle brethren. I've become accustomed to it. Truly. I've never lied to you, Grace. And I never shall. If you're looking for innocence, however, <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's one thing I cannot provide. And if I can't accept that? If I find out you're somehow involved in this? You'll do what you do, and I'll do what I do, and we'll see where that takes us. The thing is, he knows a damn lot, and he literally, I mean, even his, uh favor he called in just brought us further so i have the feeling that he is kind of the storyteller of this of the thing and he like he he leads us he like shows us places to go and what we should keep an eye on and i think i have the feeling that he in theory knows who it was and what happened but he cannot he is not allowed to tell and he cannot tell so he uses us to find out the truth if you're still up for trading favors i could use more help oh of course you could you could live the high life grace throw caution to the wind embrace what you can before you uh, uh before I die? You don't have any hope for me, do you? You're just taking what you can get before it's over. I've seen this story many times, Grace. I've told this story. Many times. Oh, wow. And it always ends the same way. What's the point of even getting to know me, then? Right? We already talked today to Apollo. I would not talk to him all the time. So let's go to Medusa's lair. Oh, it's already day four. Then let's go to Apollo first. <laughs> ah. Hello again. Hello yourself. Ugh. Get a room, both of you. I want to thank you for the other day, Grace. I won't forget our walk anytime soon. <laughs> I should hope not. Is there, uh, something you came to talk about? No, that's okay. I'll see you later, Apollo. I just wanted to see if I can talk to him about what I have seen. Let's go to Medusa, then. This must be the Viper's Nest. Scariest part of town, no sign. Just that one dude glaring at everyone. Well, 
I'm here now. Just another day in the life of an idol. Grace, of all the places to run into a friend. Pan, what are you doing here? I'm the one who told you about this place. You didn't expect my curiosity to get the better of me? Let me guess. You feel bad about how we left our last conversation. Me? Feel bad? Huh. You know, the part where you still believe I'm gonna die. It's true. I am a bad man and I spoke poorly. I did not, however, want you wandering into this without advice. If you have any advice, Pan, I'm all ears. Well, I assume you know how Medusa became what she is. Apollo mentioned it, yeah. It is a sad, sad tale. Athena cursed her. A travesty of justice if there ever was one. Thing is... Athena no longer has the power to undo the curse. Or so she says. What I'm trying to say is that Medusa is not happy about it. Perhaps that's something you can use. I mean... I know from... Uh, from all my mythology stuff I read and listened to is that... She was actually raped by Poseidon, and Athena cursed her for it. That is... petty? Medusa is the one who turns people into stone just by looking at them, right? People, yes. Idols, not so much. Or oh, that's my assumption. I'll admit to not knowing if she's ever turned her gaze on one of us. I could go in there and boom? Statue time? Hmm? Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> Apollo said she's some kind of spy master for Athena. Is that right? A truer description, I'd say, is that she's more Athena's servant. Poor thing can't survive on her own. So she's become whatever Athena needs. Spy master, enforcer, provider of garden statuary. She sounds terrifying. More importantly, Grace, she's clever. Medusa will be no simple target. Medusa's clever and works for Athena, but what's she really like? Uh, she doesn't exactly come to the parties, Grace. Medusa is an enigma to most of us. If idols hide in the shadows, she lurks in even darker places. She's an outsider. And she loathes us as much as she needs us. Is she dangerous? Let's just say we're all rather relieved she stays away. Well, I think she's just as broken as every one of the idols. Okay, enough talking. Time to do this. See? That's the spirit. Now there's simply the matter of getting you in before she's aware you're here. And you'll help me with that? As best I can, certainly. Though I do hope you have some kind of plan. A word of advice before we proceed. Once you find Medusa, make the number a knockout. Okay, so I should go... Confront the Enforcer. Find another entrance. Use a distraction. How easy would the distraction be? 
I would look for another entrance first. You didn't have to follow me up here. Nonsense. I'm helping. Well, can you help me pick the lock on this skylight? Do I look like some vagabond cat burglar? It's bad enough I scuff my trousers during the climb. Uh, far be it for me to question you, Grace, but are you certain this is wise? I rather thought we would use our wits to gain entry. I don't recall you having any suggestions, Pam. You were so eager to start climbing the walls, I didn't want to discourage your vigor. Plus, you wanted to stare at my butt on the way up. <laughs> I can make the best of any situation. And there we go. Coming? <laughs> We're both going to regret this. Probably. Let's split up and look around. to work that way I call it the preparation yes I could make you strong but then my dinner's blown that's why I've got this other way look into me Oops. she's looking away hey Was she mad? She 
said I'd been bad. Had you been? No. Now look into me. Medusa, look into your own eyes. Nope. Okay, the phone thing doesn't work on you. Nevertheless, let's take a look at you. Van called you hideous. That's just untrue. Enough. I'd kill for eyes like that. The body, too. Don't look at me. Maybe the hair needs some attending to. Don't look at me. Big picture, honey. It's nothing you can't undo. Yeah, you're not a killer. <laughs> you're much too cute. You're lost, little girl. No more Hail Marys. We both know the cute girl's hue. The killer's me. Don't know, you don't know. I do know that you didn't ki kill Calliope. So you know that it's true that I didn't do it. No. Yes, you do know, you know. Does that mean Athena knows? No. Stop it! Stop it, Pan! You have no right to interfere! It's been a long time since I played these. Good to know the old pipes are still warm, hmm? What the heck did you just do? Snake charming. Medusa can't help but be enthralled. Big on, Pest! How dare you invade my sanctum! Oh, I see. W would you prefer I resume playing? Hmm. You ready to talk? Oh, fine. Fine. What exactly is it that you want, pretty muse? You were at the reliquary the night Calliope was murdered. I want to know why. Blast! This is why I didn't tell Lady Athena. I knew it would come back to haunt me. I only followed Pretty Calliope to the reliquary. I never spoke to her, never even caught up to her. I swear it. But you were there that night. Yes, yes, I admit it. Ugh, Lady Athena will have my head. She'll mount it on a pike. Whatever you might think of me, I had no part in the Muse's death. I did not even know she'd been attacked until I saw her fleeing. You followed Calliope to the reliquary. Why were you shadowing her at all? I am Lady Athena's spymaster, yes. Calliope has been trouble from time to time. Trouble enough to keep an eye on, hmm? I keep watch over every idol who no longer lives in Olympus, but especially Calliope. When I realized she was headed to the reliquary that eve, I followed. I had a duty to Athena. Did you ever find out why Calliope went there? I was never close enough to ask. When I drew near to the reliquary, that is when I saw the muse fleeing. She was frightened, bloodied, dying. A tasty snack for you to hunt down. I gave chase, yes, but to discover the truth. I knew Lady Athena would wish to know. That does make sense from your perspective. I didn't learn the truth until later. And then it was far too late. 
You haven't told Athena any of this? Now, now. Don't make me charm it out of you, my dear. I, I told her Calliope was at the reliquary that night. I did not tell her I was also there. Why not? Wouldn't Athena find out from Hecate anyway? No, oh, I, I, I was not thinking clearly. I panicked. I... Lady Athena barely tolerates my presence as it is. If she thought I was involved in any way, if she even suspected... Asterion said he caught up with you out in the fog. Is that right? I thought he was the one who had attacked her. He is a great beast of a creature. Oh, that seems rather unlikely. The bull's as gentle as a lamb. Yes, I only realized my mistake once I caught up to him, and by then the muse was gone. And you never found her afterwards? I thought she might flee to her pretty home, or to the sharp and prickly Persephone. She did neither. Yeah, she came to see me. Why should we believe you? You did just try to eat me, remember? I am telling you the truth. One that conveniently paints you as innocent. You presented an opportunity. Oh, to taste the sweet, sweet blood of a hero once again. Uh, it... It's a problem. I've been working on it. I really have. Oh, Medusa. Well, what of you? The only reason I knew Calliope was going to the reliquary is because you informed me. Well. Oh, is that so? It is true. But, Grace, I can explain. I'll bet you can. Let's put a pin in that for the moment, shall we? I am a monster. It's true. I do not deny it. It's still, I did not kill the muse. I kind of want to hug her. Okay, let's say we believe you, for the moment. Whatever you do, pretty muse, I beg you. Do not tell Athena of my indiscretion. Show mercy. I know what I am horrifies you. It horrifies me as well. I cannot help what I am. I did not ask to be cursed like this. Indiscretion, huh? That's quite the word for it. I cannot apologize for my hunger. I can only apologize that I am so very weak in the face of it. I'll think about it. I am a lost and cursed thing. <laughs> no idol. If Lady Athena should learn the truth... I kind of still want to hug her. I hope you find what you seek, pretty muse. And that find. we meet again someday. And sing a different song. Don't go. Let's be friends. I give you a hug. Now, before you say anything... You knew. Right from the start, you knew Calliope was there that night. Yep. Well... That's why I said that's her. Yes. She asked for the key and I gave it to her. No questions asked. I never lied to you, Grace. I said I didn't know what became of Calliope at the reliquary, and I didn't. But I wanted to, so I nudged you in the right direction. Yep, he did. You sold Calliope out. Medusa said you're the one who told her where Calliope went. Well... It was worth a favor. So, the moment Calliope walked out the door, you were on the phone selling her location. I am trying to help Grace. In my way. What do you, what do you mean, in my way? What is what? What way is that? <sighs> the way where I don't take all the blame. Mm. What else will I discover, Pan? I'd rather learn it now than later. I wish I could tell you, Grace. 
I truly do. Believe him. If he wouldn't want us to find the truth, we would not find the truth. I go back to Apollo, maybe we have something new to tell him. Grace, back again so soon. Did you find Medusa after all? You've been on my mind ever since you told me about her. I did, and it was fine. I told you it would be. Okay, it almost wasn't fine, but it worked out. Nobody got hurt. I see. Perhaps you'd best tell me what happened then. That sounds like quite the harrowing experience. One that could have gone very poorly indeed. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were worried about me. I will always worry about you, Grace. Is that a good thing? <laughs> I'll take it as a good thing. If you've cleared Medusa's involvement, that still leaves us with Pan. Have you confronted him about it? <sighs> He admitted to selling out Calliope, but not to killing her. I don't know if I can believe him. I've never thought of Pan as a liar so much as a manipulator. Still, he would do anything to protect himself. I'll have to give this some thought. Anything else you'd like to discuss while you're here? No, that's okay. I'll see you later, Apollo. record for today or for this record here for this video because we're almost at 30 minutes again and so yeah see you in the next video thank you bye